hello YouTube and how's it going? Um, this video is going to be called um, I'm sorry for my errors um, as I have made some and I've made videos telling people something and it's not been true. <clears throat> uh, the main one would be when I was expecting the end of the world in 2013 and that obviously didn't come to pass but I was still sort of holding on well maybe just a year early or something <clears throat> but now that I've learned some things about truth and specifically whose truth um, I can see that, you know, that sort of cataclysm, cataclysm is not going to come from God, in a sense. You know, we may as humans, um, continuing using our free will to uh, degradate the earth and therefore put up with any... Um, any sort of repercussions of that. The other things I've been wrong on, for example, is, you know, just things I just didn't know. And so I was making videos <clears throat> suggesting things, but I suppose I was doing that because I didn't know how to access real truth. Um, I was on the right path. I believe. <laughs> I don't know how really how well I'm doing to be honest. Um, I'm, pro I'm probably middle of the road right? I'm probably doing quite well but not great and but anyway it's sort of wrong to compare myself to everybody else but that's that's the highest likelihood is that I'm kind of middle of the road. Um, as I, the fact that I still have physical addictions, um, I still got plenty of emotional addictions that I'm not aware of, or that I'm trying to discover, and I am finding new ones every day. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. I was just going for a walk, and I looked over at the the new sort of cricket building and pitch. That well, it's not that new. And I just thought about the maintenance it requires, you know, and obviously the, all the cost and everything for making it. And that annoyed me. And I thought, right. Now before, what I would have done is I would have got angry, allowed that to build up, and then sort of formalised plots in my mind of how I could, in a sense, get them back, like revenge. And as we know, eye for an eye cannot work. As Gandhi said, the world would soon be blind. <clears throat> so these these are the. So I so I so then I've got to look at why you know why why did I get angry because of that nice fancy cricket pitch and all the money that goes into it. it must be some sort of jealousy, the fact that I'm not part of the cricket team. I'm not benefiting from from what they've got. So that's like a jealousy, isn't it? And <clears throat> shouldn't I be grateful for what God has given me? And he has given me a lot. So then you can start to address the issue. And so, you know, there's always going to be emotional issues that we've got. We could say emotional addictions or issues. Anyway, what I've learnt is you know, from A.J. Miller, from the guy who was Jesus uh, 2,000 years ago, and he, he has got the memory of 2,000 years, he's got a lot of knowledge, and I've started to see the um, small improvements that I've been able to make in about a couple of weeks or whatever. So, because basically you know, what we're led to believe is that we shouldn't feel pain 
We don't want to feel pain, we don't want to feel sad, we don't want to feel negative emotions. Um, which is fair enough, why would we want to? But because we're pushing them down and ignoring them and skipping over them and taking drugs and having other physical addictions to to compensate for them, they get worse and worse and worse as life goes on. And that what we should instead do is go through the processes of feeling those negative emotions, feel all emotions. So when you get an emotion like that, it's actually a good thing because once you've felt the pain, the fear, or whatever, you're going to be better off afterwards. And, you know, from a few a couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> I thought, you know, what happens in my dreams is sort of, well, it's sort of a compensation. Well, that, that's true, but I kind of saw my dreams as not real. I saw my dreams as a place where you could do anything and it not really have any have any effect. But I wasn't really aware of my sleep state. I wasn't really... I know I'd had dreams and stuff and I'd been in other worlds and I, I knew that. And I, I also believed that, you know, it was constant. That there is no gap when you go to sleep. So that, I was right about that. Um... But I think, you know, I, I still got to wait longer. So, um, in my sleep state, I think I've started to realise that I need to work up, work upwards. Because that's what I want to do. I want to get close to God. I, I do want that. And I can do work in my sleep state to improve my situation as well as doing stuff in my sleep state to make my position worse and I think what I was doing because I because I, right, I haven't had a relationship with a woman for seven years and you know then I would sort of masturbate and I remember my last my ex-wife's last words <laughs> You'll be hugging your fist for the rest of your life. So she said to me, <laughs> I thought, mm -hmm. she's right. So I sort of was able, you know, I was able to cut that out. And then I noticed, well, I'm I'm looking at girls, I see girls in the daytime, and that's, that's given me the urges. So then I, I would even sort of cut that out. I wouldn't want to look. I wouldn't want to look at anyone who looked nice. And it is a pleasure to look at someone who looks nice. So I'm denying myself pleasures. And then what was happening in my sleep state, and I don't know this for sure, but I got a feel of it. I got a feel of it when I wanted to turn away from it. And like I closed my eyes and and I could and I remember seeing like three naked girls lying around, waiting if you like. And I thought, oh my God, you know, as soon as I go to sleep, I'm, I'm doing this. And so I made the conscious desire not, not to do that during my sleep. And, and then I heard this, oh, goodbye then, in my head, like a couple of minutes later. And, and since then, my dreams... I've been I've been travelling in a car. I uh, I remember one part of a dream when I pulled over to check the map. I remember one part of a dream when I was driving with my son and was on this bridge trying to get over and <laughs> I was trying I had my arm out the window because it the bridge only had like two tracks so I had to be really accurate. And then towards the end of my dream I think the bridge sort of went up in the air. <laughs> Strangely. I was hardly a bridge, it was just like a couple of planks <laughs> to try and drive on. Um, and then and then the night before last, it, it was quite negative and, and stuff. And there was, there was lots for me to think about there. And so maybe even my sleep state, I'm feeling some of these negative emotions. Um, 
and I got a lot about my son because me and my wife split up when he was like nine months old and I got kicked out and then you know had weekend access and stuff like that I had quite a lot of access but then it was you know it often be sort of threatened to be taken away from me and everything else so I got a lot a lot of emotional issues a lot of new ones um so yeah the, but what, what I've noticed is as I've so so the day before last I was feeling pretty negative I was, but I was you know I felt like I was having these emotions and I had another day like that before where I was thinking I'm not sure I want this you know I was I was feeling fine before I want to get back to that feeling fine stage again but then you see your soul state would start going backwards if you're not prepared to go through and listen and listen to your emotions, feel what what they are, and and deal with them. Deal with them in a sense of feeling them. Just feel them, right? So then, I, so yesterday, I think, so I was have you know I was feeling quite negative, quite a lot of negative stuff, and then definitely my dream state last night was better. I wasn't so lost. My uh, dad and my brother were there. Um, I had the choice of two cars, <laughs> right? And I was thinking today, actually, you know, one of the first things when I was born, I loved cars. I loved cars. But for some reason, I went away from them. So I might um, explore that love of cars. And it was probably... From a young age, it was probably my dad liking cars, and I like car magazines. But so, uh, something I've got a desire for there, passion. So yeah, lots to work on. And I know this video was started off like with my errors, um, and I don't ninety nine. I'm you know I can't say I'm a hundred percent sure on what I'm doing now is right. Okay, but the feeling is it is. And the feeling is, is that this A.J. Miller is is telling the truth, um, and his and his soulmate as well, and she's she's in a position um, where she's learning from. She's had to learn mainly from him as well. So sometimes I was starting to get a bit negative about her. I think because she's an attractive girl as well, and sometimes she's wearing you know not revealing clothes, but you know. I would sort of have the urge to look at her and I wasn't liking that so in a sense I started to sort of doubt her and sort of put the blame on her but you know, she, she's really good because the, some, some of the things she comes out with is like we would because if we've learnt from, mostly from Jesus, AJ Miller um, you know and he's not always he he hasn't had to learn it exactly as we have. He's remembered it, so he gives it to us matter of factly. And sometimes, for example, about the um, about the emotions thing, you know, there, it's not difficult. Uh, you haven't got to be intellectual about it. You don't have to sort of be able to just go and analyze your whole life and and then start, you know. And what you start to do is you start to sort of you look at my parents, mm, well, their emotions, actually, <clears throat> yes, they may have affected me from birth, but the answer to dealing with them isn't through them sorting out their emotions, it's still through me to sort out these emotions. So really, you just have to feel your emotions, feel, try and feel your soul, and, and see what comes up. Now, obviously, what I have to do is is not always give in to my addictions um, and obviously I am addicted to tobacco that is something and I, I know I can go all day without it I very rarely do that in fact <clears throat> I've only done it once really I did two and a half days but I can I can get you know I can get to about midday quite happily usually well not usually usually I have one in the morning but I've cut down. I've cut down. So I, I have spent large parts of the day not smoking. Whereas before I just smoked whenever I felt like it. And even when I really didn't. Um, so, you know, I've got that to deal with.
and then I'll, and then hopefully I'll be able to work through more emotions. So I'll stop stop now and um, I'll make another video when I know something else. And again, just to say I'm sorry if, if you've watched something and I've said something wrong, you know, and and um, and if that's led you to be in error too, then I'm really sorry about that. Um, again, from a selfish <laughs> perspective, because that will be part of my soul damage too someone else has done something that I've said or changed their life for worse you know that is going to be on me well not totally <clears throat> and what I want to say now is you know obviously you got your own brain you got your own soul you um, you have some responsibility for what you do obviously anyway chapao